so let me continue with the discussion of a round command so i have this basic body with me right now and i'll just create a round at this edge so creating a round at this edge will indicate that the edges on the left and the right will be created in a single chain for example i have just gone to round and these are like a chain i mean they are connected to each other and i can just vary the radius what if i am wanting only certain percentage or certain length of it so i have to go to the pieces command over here and i need to click on the piece so the moment i'm clicking on the piece i'm getting this path over here so i need to click on this dot and i can drag it till here and you can see the remaining feature is the sharp feature which was present and the remaining length is the rounded feature right now so this will divide the total round into two pieces and i have deleted the first piece or i have not selected the first length whereas i have continued the next length so this is one feature over here and imagine over here if i am selecting the edge over here i am getting the total length of the edge as the rounded feature or the blunted shape right but imagine i wanted only certain part of it i mean cert to certain percentage or certain length of it so what do i do so i'll just go back and delete this thing so i'll just click on the edge and i'll click on point over here so i'm getting a point over here and i can just vary the location of point so this is offset ratio selected so if i'm selecting 0.5 it is exactly half of the total edge if i'm selecting quarter that is 0.25 so it will be a quarter of the total length so let me just keep it as 0 0.30 so i got a point over here right now and uh, if it is not visible for you maybe you can just turn on you can go to view and you can turn on this tag over here point tag display so we can get the point number as well over here now now go to the round and select the edge so after selecting the edge you can vary the radius now you have to go to the transitions over here and after that you can switch to transient mode transition mode by clicking on this icon so the moment you're clicking on this icon you can see this particular feature the yellow color dynamic view what you're getting on the screen is divided into three sections this is the first second and the third so system is telling me that there are two transitions one and two over here and we can select any of it if i'm selecting the base one by clicking on the left click this is selected now i have to click on the right click by holding the right click i will be having three options i can check the option stop at reference and now the system will ask me to select the reference so i have created a reference which is a point and i will be selecting that as my reference the moment i select the reference you can see that the top region is rounded whereas the bottom region is sharp as it was previously let me just control z so we have this transition again i'll switch to transition mode now i'll select the top transition i'll hold the right click i'll go to stop at reference and i will select the reference feature in this case you can see the bottom region is rounded whereas the top region is sharp as it was previously so with this way we can divide the total edge and we can vary the amount of the total length of the rounded feature depending on the requirement or we can create a reference and we can stop up to that particular length either on the top side or on the bottom side so let me do it again for your explanation purpose let me select the bottom face hold the right click and stop at reference and select the point command so i have the rounded feature ready with me on the top now let us look at some other features so imagine you have this edge over here where there are three 
edges which are coming at this corner so let me just round them this is the first second and the third so using the transition mode i can change the kind of arrangement over here so i'll just show you that thing so before that i need to click on this option and switch to transition mode and then i can just right click over here first i can press the left click then i need to hold the right click and I will be having different options. So first this is the default option, which is the round option. Then I'll just go to intersect and you can see these are pointed intersections right now. So this is an intersection of three edges. If I want, I can change to other options as well by clicking on it. First going to the transition mode and clicking with the left click, then holding with the right click and creating the different options. This is a simple patch. So this is more about transition or the way of arranging the corners where we have multiple intersection or multiple combination of edges at a single point. Let us see some other features in the next video.